Dr. Choi is a child psychiatrist, who has been working for five years in this field. Choi was in love with her boyfriend at work, but unfortunately he cheated on her. Not only that, but he also submitted one of her scientific researches, in one of the international competitions with his name. And because she wanted to take revenge on him, she decided to go on the day of awarding the prizes. There, Choi bumped into a small child who was running, and everyone was running after him, and no one could catch him because he did not want to speak, but strangely he responded to her, and gave her a card with his father's name on it, so Choi asked him to hand the card over to one of the guards. Then Choi left him and walked down the corridor, then she saw someone who she thought was her ex-boyfriend, Choi ran towards him and hit him hard, while she scolded him, and called him a thief because he had stole her scientific research, and would present it in her name, but she was surprised when she found out that he was a completely different person, so she apologized and ran away. And we discover that this is Haishi, the person who is responsible for delivering the prizes, and at the time of delivery he did not hand the prize to the man. Thinking that this girl was honest, and perhaps this man had already stolen her research. After that, Haishi starts looking for another psychiatrist for his son, and we discover that Haishi is the father of the child, Choi bumped into before. Haishi took his son to the hospital, to one of the female doctors, but she could not handle him, Choi heard him, and hurried towards him, and knew that he was the boy she bumped into at the party. After a while the child calmed down easily with Choi, then she took him to her room and started playing with him, when his father didn't find him, he searched for him, and when he found him with Choi he yelled at her. But he discovered that she is the only one his child is playing with, so he offered her to work for him, but because he was very arrogant she refused. Haishi started to give her a lot of expensive gifts to make her accept work. One day, when Haishi was trying to get Choi to work for him, Haishi was walking behind her in the street. When Choi was attacked by some thieves, and there, before someone hit her, Haishi rushed to her and hit the men, and Haishi was injured in the hand, so Choi rushed to get a box of first aid and start healing his wounds. When her friends saw his attempts with her, they begin to spread rumors that Choi is in love with the owner of one of the biggest companies in the country. Then when the hospital was celebrating the opening of the new building, which was opened by the financial help of Haishi. In the party her ex's girlfriend talked about those rumors, that there is a relationship between Choi and Haishi, she thought it would embarrass Choi, but to her surprise Haishi came out and said that they are not only lovers, but also they are going to be married soon. Then he grabbed a wedding ring, put it in her hand, and kissed her. She was confused but when she saw her ex being annoyed with Haishi, she pretends to be happy, and thanked Haishi for helping her. Haishi asked her to really marry him for his son, but she refused. He told her that she is afraid of really loving him, but she told him that she will never fall for him, but Haishi kept trying to persuade her. Then the news spread out quickly, and Choi's family knew about their daughter's fiancé. They went to her house asking her about Haishi. Choi tried to explain the truth but she couldn't. Then her family started investigating about Haishi. They knew that he has a child, so they invited him to their house to tell them more about the child's mother. Choi thought that he'll not go, but to her surprise he did. There he told them that, he is not the father of the child, but his uncle. His parents were died in an accident five years ago and he was the only one to survive, and from hence, Haishi started rising him as his son, and no one knows the truth. Choi was touched by his speech as well as her family did. Then Haishi received a call telling that his son is sick in hospital. Haishi and Choi rushed to the kid. There, the kid called her mama, and it was his first word since the accident. Haishi asked Choi to really marry him to be with his son, but Choi of course refused. But after that, she heard a woman bullying the kid for not having a mother. So Choi got angry and said to them that she is his mother, and accepted to marry Haishi. Choi's best friend was secretly having a crush on her, so he refused her marriage to Haishi, 
but she was insisted to do so. She then moved to Haishi's house, and they made a deal to appear as a real couple in front of people and press, but actually they are not really married. Then they started to act like lovely couple in front of the kid, to make him happier, but he was smart enough to notice their real relation, so he started putting plans to make them be closer. One day Choi was at hospital when she met a small child who was in a bad condition because of his mother, so Choi suggested to the manger to provide a psychological counseling to the mother. One of Choi's haters heard that and quickly informed the woman, and told her that Choi says she is a psychopath, so the woman got angry, and pushed Choi off the stairs. And by chance Haishi was in the hospital too, and he saw Choi, he rushed to her and hold her gently to one of the rooms. After having remedies, he carried her again, and took her home. But the child's mother after that, went to the reporters and told them that Choi accused her of being a psychopath. Reporters begin to chase Choi, but her friend took her home quickly. The matter spreaded to the extent that Choi was not able to leave her house. When Haishi learned of this, he filed a lawsuit against that woman, demanding compensation for Choi, but Choi, when she learned that she reprimanded him for this, and asked him to drop the case, but he refused, but in front of her insistence he was forced to agree in the end. After a while, Choi applied him to a school, but Haishi was worried about him a lot, so he met with the staff in the restaurant in front of the school, to be able to monitor his son. There, Hishi noticed Choi's friend who was in love with her, and he felt jealous of him and started watching them instead of his son. Haishi started getting close to Choi because he had already started falling in love with her. But Haishi's aunt came to their house to spend some time with him and started treating Choi cold and being mean to her. Haishi's aunt wanted to embarrass Choi, so she asked her son if he would accompany her to his company's annual celebration. Haishi told her that he would celebrate with Choi, and here, his aunt told him that Choi is a simple girl, not of their high class, and of course it would cause them embarrassment. Haishi started teaching Choi etiquette, and started training her to dance, but he was putting too much pressure on her. So Choi got to the point that, she told him that her work here is only his son, and she is not obligated to him and his celebrations. Haishi was disappointed and saddened by her words, but he showed a lack of interest. He went to his aunt in distress, and told her that Choi would not go to the party, his aunt was happy, and started talking about Choi badly, and that she knew that she was a simple girl and would not learn. Choi was listening to their conversation, but she was surprised by Haishi defending her and telling his aunt that she is a beautiful, smart girl and a professional doctor, and he chose her to be his wife and he is happy with her. And when Choi discovered his defense of her, she decided to prepare herself and train for the party. Indeed Choi went with Hishi and dazzled everyone in the party with her beauty, and as a reward for her, Hishi played her favorite song and told her to dance as she liked, and he danced with her too, Choi was happy and felt that she really loved him. Suddenly a beautiful lady entered the hall. We discover that this girl is a rich fashion designer from a prestigious family and her family had agreed with Haishi's family that she and Haishi would marry, and although Haishi married Choi, his aunt called that girl, asking her to seduce Haishi, to divorce Choi, and returns to her, but on the contrary, Haishi begins to act very romantically with Choi outside, so that the press takes pictures of them and everyone knows that he loves only her. When Choi learned that this girl is now working in her husband's company, she was very jealous of her, and decided that she and Haishi's son would go there. And when they went, the child made a prank on the girl and his father reprimanded him severely. Here, Choi didn't care about anything but the little child, so she took him and decided to go home. Choi thought Haishi would come to take them and apologize but he didn't, so Choi was so sad. Then she received a call that her father was ill in the hospital, so Choi went alone without telling Haishi, and when Haishi saw his young son at home without Choi, he was worried about her. 
Here, the child wrote to him that she was in the hospital with her father, and Hayashi hurried to her to be next to her. Not only that, but Hayashi's aunt also went to visit, and there, she noticed that Hayashi's son is very close to Choi's family, so she was surprised by this. After that, Choi learned that the fashion designer and Hayashi would be in the company late for one of the deals with an investor. Choi decided to go and watch them, and there, she saw someone in the elevator, filming the elevator. Choi thought he was a harasser filming her, so she hit him and yelled at him. Unfortunately, this person was the investor and cancelled the investment in the company, so the fashion designer insulted her because she was the reason for that. Choi felt remorse and shame, and also felt pity for Hayashi, who lost the deal, and felt that no matter what she did, it would not make him love her, so she went to him and told him that the agreement was over, his son now started talking and getting used to people, and he can divorce her. Hayashi felt sad at Choi's request for divorce, because he loved her, and wanted her to stay, so he told her that he want to make sure first that his son interacts with his friends at school, and when they went they found out that his son had a girlfriend too. Here, told him that she will teach his son the song for the school party, and then they can divorce. Choi started teaching the child the song, and then recorded it on a small tape recorder. When the child went out of the room, Choi did not notice that the device had fallen while it was still recording. When Choi got home, she knew she had forgotten her phone. She came back to take it and there, Hayashi had found the recorder. Choi entered the room to take the phone and there, she and Hayashi heard her voice from the recorder talking to her friend. Choi tried to take the recorder but Hayashi prevented her, and he heard her confessing her love to him in front of her friend. Choi felt embarrassed, and left the house quickly, but Hayashi went to his friend and told him that Choi loves him, and want to leave him because she thinks that he didn't love her. He asked his friend what he can do, and his friend told him to go to her and confess his feelings. When Hayashi went to her, Choi was still embarrassed, so she told him that she is no longer in love with him. Then Hayashi saw her with her friend and felt worried that his friend will confess his love to her. So he rushed to her house and confessed his love, and they finally became a real couple. This is all for today's drama, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.